Hello, good morning, good afternoon, hope everyone's doing well today. So last night, I did finish the edit for the best of October compilation, but we're gonna post it tomorrow because I need offline content. So, I watched- uh oh, <laughs> I did this on the back of the sketch card I did it myself. So, I watched all the clips that Chatters made for the month of October, and can I just say, I am impressed. September was a slow month, so we were running a bit dry in clips, but October, lots of good clips. Now, I would like to clarify, even though we had like 50 clips made, not all 50 are eligible for the compilation, because some moments don't translate well to a compilation, meaning it's not funny if you aren't part of like the regular stream community, or like the sound bit doesn't make sense. So, I tallied all the clips that I did use in the comp, and I also made a little t-chart so nobody can see I lied. So, I, I actually have to count these all up. So, the way that the charm works is, oh, come on, go, <laughs> also I would like to say thank you to Potato for chatting and then just starting since we, there we go. So, we had three people who had good enough clips. You get a point for the actual clip you made and then if you titled it. So, we had Lammy with one clip, no title. Kobobo with nine clips and nine titles because they titled every single clip they made. And then Crystal with three clips and three titles. So that means Lammy had one point. Kobobo had 9 times 2 is 18, and Crystal had 6 points. So, the chatter who had the best clips of October is Kobobo. Drake's in chat, claps in chat for Kobobo. You're technically already a VIP, so you get to keep your badge until the beginning of December. Once again, thank you. Um, so, just to reemphasize, anybody who makes the best clips- Oh, wrong command. There we go. Anybody who makes the best clips for this month of November will get VIP. So, what I'm looking for, because the whole point of the best of compilation is so people who are new to the channel or don't know me get a little taste of what a normal stream is like. It's also featured in the channel Twitch trailer. Because I have to condense all of the best clips into a minute for that channel trailer. And that's the first thing people see when they click on the Twitch channel. So that's why don't feel bad, don't go home, cry dad, if your clips aren't in. Because I have to watch all of them and make sure they're like substantial enough. Because even though if the sound bit is funny, like, I had a few where it's like, it was a your mom joke, but it doesn't really make sense. And also like, with certain jokes like that, they're so overused where it doesn't showcase like, how my actual, actual commentary is. So, yeah. So Kobobo remains VIP until December. Best of compilation will be posted on YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, and on Twitch tomorrow morning. So look forward to that. Also talking about tomorrow, we are going live again on the art channel. So if you aren't following already, please make sure everybody watching right now, hashtag free to follow. Go follow the art channel. You can click the banner right here in chat or for your mobile, it'll be down below. If you want to see paintings like... This? Dude, I love this one so much. This one goes crazy. Or... This, the first painting we did about a month ago. Go follow our channel. We'll be live on that channel tomorrow. Pro I'm gonna try and shoot for 10 or 11 a.m., but it depends on, like, how early I exercise. I think the painting I want to start, because I think I'm gonna start two tomorrow. Um... I think I want to start these two... Because the paintings I want to do is I want to do color tomorrow and then Because like if you do varnish on top of color it has to dry for a few days and then next week we'll do details That way like for example um, For this one. I want to paint all the base colors tomorrow And then let it dry for a few days and then next week we put the glitter varnish on top and then do black details So that's the plan with that one. So we're gonna be doing that tomorrow on the art channel. So look forward to that guys um, but today, we're gonna go back to 
My- whoa! My shirt looks so trippy on camera, holy! Wait, I need to see what that looks like in full screen, oh my god. Whoa, that looks why it, it creates this weird vertigo- <laughs> Sorry, it's gonna bug me. It creates a weird vertigo effect. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Let's not hyper fixate on it. <laughs> okay. It's fine. So we're gonna continue the galaxy. The last time we played this was two weeks ago. Oh shit, I forgot his motion controls. Okay. Let's get back to it. I think we'll do predictions for every star to see if I'll game over or not. Oh, you can't change the camera here. Ooh. You have a letter? Uh, Mr. Mario, check it out. I'm a mail toad and I have a letter for you. <gasps> Dear Mario, I'm in a faraway place, but I'm alright because you're coming to rescue me. P.S. I hope this gift will come in handy. Princess Peach includes five one of mushrooms in her letter. Would you like them now? Yeah? Aw, even when she's kidnapped, the princess is so thoughtful. Well, come see me next time there's a mail delivery. Oh, okay, I can use those one-ups now. Easy. Wait, can I fall off? Oh, I can't die here. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Okay, I think I go in here to go to different galaxies, right? I can't remember. I haven't played in two weeks. Oh, I think I want to get like every single star in every galaxy. That way I don't have to go back. So I'll do that. Okay, we're gonna do predictions for every star or chatters. Do you think I will game over? Go Gamba? Oh, if we move, we definitely have to get a Wii set up. Wii streams would go crazy. Big bad bugaboom. <laughs> Sounds like booger. Okay, now I've, I've forgotten all the controls for this game. So why spin? Ah! The whole Mandabug clan has invested our kingdom! Man, screw these Mandabugs! Hi Titans, welcome in! Okay, I forgot how to ground pound. I remember now. It's left trigger. Oh shit, I missed. Easy. Do I have to kill them all? Ooh. Okay. I don't think there's any secrets in the level, so you just have to get to the end. So it's not like I have to be a- Ooh! Black Bolt? Oh, that's just a shortcut. Damn. I thought I'd get like a secret or something. me back here. That's not what I wanted. Oh, I thought I could, like, swim under, but that's not it. I wish I could rotate the camera more. It's kind of frustrating. Shit! 
the sound of guru. Oh my god! Sorry, that camera angle. Oh. <laughs> It's almost like I was on a roller coaster ride. I hated that. Holy. There we go. Finally. I love all the little sound effects. Oh, the camera makes me want to <laughs> throw up. <gasps> no way. causing trouble again. We will be most grateful for your assistance. Okay, why is she sitting like that? That's... I don't like that. I don't like that. Get me out of here. Oh! Fuck me. I live? Wait. Doubter's almost ate good. Okay, there's another power-up. want to go here. Got them all? games to the switch because I was watching like this YouTube essays talk about the Wii Sports resort lore and I was like oh my god I want to play it so bad okay let's try again yeah should it be a speedrunner tab one <laughs> I think me attempting to be a speedrunner would be brutal to watch. Honestly. I wanna see if I can get up here. <gasps> hey yo! Oh. Oh, I've been up here before, okay. Wait, can I like fly over this end? Shortcut? Oh, 
Oh shit. Oh, it's Y. I, was, I get to press an A. I forgot what button it was. Oh, just in time. Oh no. It's one. Oh, that was over. No way. Throw the bombs back at him? Nope. <laughs> Guess not. Okay, I thought I saw a B power up here. Yep, right here. Okay, so you have to time. Huh. Mad now. What? How am I losing my power up? Not touching anything. one up real quick. Now, how are you supposed to get high enough? Maybe you can fly up here? Yes, you can! What? No, you slide down. Okay, when you jump, you can't fly. Oh, because I touched the water! Okay. Makes sense. These can't fly if there's water. Wait, I figured it out. Oh, <laughs> I have to get into the honeycomb on the tree. Then I can jump down. Time this just right. That was poor. No, no. Oh, he's not coming this way? Shit! Hating this fight? Well, I hate it too. 
because it's hard to like time when you're supposed to jump off the tree. Because sometimes he's facing sideways and then right side up. Maybe I need to be lower. This will be it, this will be it. Or maybe I'll have to wait here where there's no water. I'll try that. So I thought the honeycomb was just on one side. So now I'm gonna carefully run around. Right here is where we wait. One more loop around. Oh my fucking god. It's fine, it's fine. Timing a possible difficulty. The timing's really frustrating. I know, I know. Because it can only fly for so long, but then it takes so goddamn long to ground pound. Try not to backseat, I appreciate that. Surely this will be it. I, I also have to be careful because I only have one more hand left. I can't afford another loss. Right here! Told you that'd be it. Die, bitch. Finally. Yeah. Holy, that took way too fucking long. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But did I game over? Not this time. A hungry Luma has appeared. Let's do this one. <gasps> no, I fucking hate the flip switches. Those were like the end of me in 3D World. Wait, is only one star? Hey, yo. Okay, Chatter's prediction is up to you, think. I will game over. Go Gamba. Oh, no. And I do like the more, like, I guess you could say mechanical mechanics. I don't like exploring. I don't like exploring levels too much. I like when everything is, like, linear. I was watching my sister play the cat game Stray last night, and I was getting so mad. 
Not like I've watched like too much gameplay of it. But it's hard when like games are that open world to where it's very easy to get lost. Ooh. That's kind of fun. I lived? Oh! Oh! Okay, that's not it. Okay, well, we had nobody do predictions, so it's fine. It doesn't matter. I'm trying, I'm trying. Easy. Oh wait, was it really that easy? Oh no. Is it frozen? Okay. Oh, everything stopped. Nice. Wait, where'd it go? Oh, it's up here. Ah, uh, yeah. Only took two tries. <laughs> Learning curve is fairly big for me, I will say. Galaxy complete. Easy. Well, we unlocked the Bowser one? <gasps> we have discovered an enemy base in the region. We can only hope they are not misusing the power of that poor Grand Star. Let's do this one first. We're gonna completionist. We're gonna try and get every single star. Loop de loop galaxy. Oh, is it a racing one? I like the racing stages. Okay, chatters, go gambit. Do you think I will game over on this star? the triple jump. Hello? Are you a surfer too? Yes, sir. Oh, but this is your first time ray surfing, right? Well then, let me show you the ropes. Now let me explain. Try to match the guide on the bottom right. What?
Oh, I have to hold it like this. Yeah, that's the basic position. So turn left to left from that starting position. I have to hold it. Correct. That is how you turn left. Now to turn right, obviously you twist to the right, right? Yep, that's how you turn right. <laughs> Guys, I'm learning how to drive. Then all you need to do to then all you need to do is hold down B to speed up. That's all you need to know. Now give it a go on the course. Can we zoom in? Perfection is run. Oh! <laughs> Easy. Okay, time to be 130. First try. Good luck! Can I, like, jump? No, it'd be cool if I could do, like, trick jumps like in Mario Kart. Thank you for the luck, I appreciate it. Oh, do I need to, like, slow down? Okay, I gotta mid-max my lines. Dude, I miss playing Mario Kart with telecontrols. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I lived? Somehow? Oh! Holy... <laughs> I did not like that. Hard left? Far left? We love the far left? <laughs> Dude, one minute! Oh, one minute, one second. Damn. One minute, one second, and 45 milliseconds? Congratulations. You deserve a gold medal. Yes! Could I have, like, fallen off the track? Would that have been a game over? Probably, yeah. Easy. Yeah, that one was fun. Yeah. I'm a big fan of racing games. I think I would have loved this if I played it when I was younger. For sure. Bowser Jr.'s Robot Reactor. Mega likes move. Okay, next prediction is up. Go game, but do you think I'll game over in the Bowser stage? Surely I'll live. Oh, wait, I forgot to set up a slope goal today. Lamau. Let's see. We're at 48. Let's do 50. I always forget to do this shit. There we go, Poggy 50. If we hit 50, then we'll do Cult of the Lamb later today. staple of every villain. They have to throw somebody into a pit of despair. Wait, isn't that from the Princess Bride? Okay, I can't break that. Okay. 
Or maybe I have to debate them to run into these cages. Yep. Easy. Come here, sir. Bye, bud. Oh, this shot is so cool. I love it so much. <gasps> you made it! But I won't even need my dad's help to take care of you. Go out of Megalod. Stomp it with the power of your grand star. Oh no, oh my god! He's huge! Okay, let's see what I need to do. Same mechanic, I try and bait the bullet bills. I can't even see his legs. Sorry, believers. I have to start over? Oh, it crashed already. Oh, I see some star bits at the top. I skip this. <laughs> Dude, the car alarm sound is so funny. <laughs> Maybe I have to climb on the legs? Oh my- oh my god. The camera. Yeah, that's what I need to do. You welcome in. Oh, I didn't even try. Wait, I got in. Come on, come and get me. Come and get me. See me? Oh, closed up. Oh, oh, that one was so close. <laughs> no. 
There's way too many. Oh, wait. Huh? Come on, I know you see me. Come at me. I'm figuring out how to like to bait them properly because even if I try and jump over them sometimes I don't get enough air wait can I dash not really yeah I don't go much faster See that time when I jumped, it was targeting me too high in the air. Okay. Let's go again. Surely this time I'll get it. Wish I could skip. I can't skip anyhow. Oh. Okay, that was pause. Oh, come on! I'm trying to beat the lower one. Holy! Oh, come on! I. Oh, come on! I took a hit. Damn it! Stay away from the eyes. So they don't have the lower bullet bills. Okay, I almost had it with the strat of using like the lower bullet bills because those just went straight in. Let's go again!
Hi, Cloud. Welcome in. Hope we're doing well today, hun. Okay, this time I'm gonna get it. hasn't happened yet. Let's go again. One big tip is if you don't die, you survive. Obviously, I am trying my darndest. You know, I wasn't blessed with the luxury of having consoles when I was a child, okay? The most I had was a Wii. Granted, this game was on the Wii. But that doesn't matter. I'm still gonna weaponize being poor. <laughs> the right over here. Let me dodge. Right, right before! Okay, gun. Stay in here? Oh, I closed right away, motherfucker. Oh! Fucking way. Come on, right here, right here. Yeah. Yes, finally. Easy. Attempt number five. <laughs> Look at that shot. That lens flare. Holy. I thought I was gonna fall through, but it's glass. That ball of flame represents the power of the observatory. We call it the beacon. When you recover a grand star, a little star power will be restored, and the beacon will grow. The comet observatory can use the power to fly through the universe. Once all the power is restored, we will be able to fly to the center of the universe. Oh! The power is on a new dome! The newly opened dome is called the Fountain. It's really quite relaxing. By the way, have you looked at the map? It contains information about galaxies as well as domes. If you forget the location of a dome, don't hesitate to speak with me. Surely. Got it, boss.
Hey, you! Got any tasty star bits? If you feed me a bunch of star bits, I'll burst with snacky happiness and then transform. I'm famished. I need 400 star bits to curb the hunger pains. That's it. I'm stuffed. Here we go. Transform. Ooh, the Sweet Z Galaxy has appeared. Ooh, I want to see what that is. Screw Peach, I'll explore. Chatter school gambit, do you think I'll game over? Bacon? Why are you talking about bacon? Did I say bacon? Sam, I am. Huh? Don't stop here. The star is right around the corner. Huh? I can't go any further. Yeah, <laughs> nerd in the glasses. Yeah. Says you. <laughs> what up? There we go. Oh, they did say bacon? Ah! <laughs> Sorry, I got scared. Oh, they okay, we got a checkpoint. Hey, yo. Oh, I forgot I have a double jump. <gasps> Saved? Same goddamn spot. ads on Twitch, but you know, I gotta. It's part of my contractual obligations to run a few minutes of ads every hour. So, if you want to avoid that ad, all you gotta do is subscribe for four ninety nine, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad for viewing all month long. Or, you can link Amazon Prime to your Twitch. You can hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe. See if you have a Prime sub available. After the ad, we're gonna keep playing. For about probably another hour, then we're gonna have, then we're gonna have time for Animal Crossing today. So, if you don't want to miss a single second, subscribe, easy clap, get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. Oh, you were making a joke about the visuals. Okay, <laughs> I was like, I don't think this is bacon, huh? I was like, if they said bacon, I would have remembered that. Sorry, I'm posting a TikTok, don't worry. Okay, surely this time I'll get it. Thank you. 
Okay, I'm gonna try the strat of just not jumping. Except for there. And there. Holy! I made it! I'm right there. It's within reach. Try harding now. Easy. Hi, Mike. Welcome in. Only I can hear. It's been going aight. We defeated the first galaxy! I don't even need to do this. This is just a bonus level. But I, I, I'm i literally so close. And, oh. <laughs> this. I don't know if I can handle 64. I think I might go crazy! Come on! No! No! Yeah, it's, it's also because, like, the camera's so ant. Kick though, I know. I know it looks so good, but it's making me so mad. I've been craving like grocery store cake. Like, you know how they sell like single slices that are like actually a scam where it's like four dollars for like a big ass slice of cake? Like, I've been wanting one of those. Oh my fucking god! But I'm like, you know. I can't be getting extra sleep. Okay, so I've been exercising fairly regularly for like about three weeks now. Like I'm doing aerobics every day for like 30-ish minutes, right? I've gained three fucking pounds. I have literally no clue. Literally no idea how that's happened. I mean, granted, maybe. I think it's because like I'm eating all my meals. Because before I used to skip lunch because like lunch was during stream. But I'm still like so fucking mad. I'm like, how did I gain three pounds? How? How? Wait, I live? Because, like, I don't weigh myself too often because that's how you, like, fuck yourself up, right? So I usually check every few weeks! Hi, Rene, welcome in. That's so scary. I live? No! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, is that actually true, Rainy? Okay, never mind, I'm not mad then. You gotta do a long jump? 
I forgot what's the thing. Well, okay. I only weigh myself when I go to the doctors. I've been going to the doctors more recently, so every time I go, they're like, oh, you were the same. But next time I go, they're like, oh, you gained five pounds. And I'll be like, fuck. I mean, it's fine. Like, I feel like the muscle definition of my legs is a bit better. Because I'm, ah! I'm doing, like, because the aerobics, it's like, um, it works like your upper arms, your lower legs. I do, like, a fuck ton of squats. So, like, my legs look a little bit nicer. But, like, I'm not exercising to, like, be skinny because that's not, that's not, like, possible with my genetics. Because, like, we have a history of obesity in my family. I lived holy. Guys, I'm right here. I'm right. Nobody do anything. Finally. Anyway, we have a history of obesity, so like I can't really like avoid it. The best I can do is just maintain like a healthy weight. Hey, we're going back. What? Not before you take the star home. I didn't even have to do a long jump, bitch. Okay, as long as like it's not bad. That I gained three pounds and I'm not upset anymore. We had a Reese's ice cream cake? Okay, you know, you guys know I fucking ate Reese's, but that sounds kind of good. Like, I do like peanut butter flavor, like buttercream. That's pretty solid. Oh my god, okay, so my mom, she got white chocolate um, Reese's cups, Hershey's um, cookies and cream bars, and then white chocolate Kit Kats. Because it came in like a combo bag. The stream is making me hungry. Lama, when I talk about gaining weight, everybody talks about food. You guys are so toxic. Oh my god. <laughs> no, I'm trolling. I'm trolling. Okay, let's go to the next galaxy. No, it's not galaxy. It's the next world. We're heading towards the fountain. I love beating. I wish it didn't have consequences. Same. It's because I eat when I'm bored, so... <clears throat> oh, those cost stars. Okay. So I've been trying to, like, get healthier snacks. Rolling Green Galaxy. Is it golfing time? I've never golfed IRL because I feel like it's too much. I also feel like you'd have to have like a lot of control. Similar to like baseball, you have to like pay attention to like how you hit the ball. You hate Reese's? Um, just don't watch the candy tier list VOD, you know, you don't gotta watch that one. Okay, Chatters go Gamba. Do you think I will game over in this galaxy? Chatters go Gamba. <clears throat> I heckin' love gambling. I just love gold class, huh? Oh, golf class. I was like, gold class? Is that like metal shop? Yes. <gasps> Too easy. Like taking candy from a baby. Hey. hey now, if you're thinking about rolling that ball away, you'd better listen to that old billboard here. First, jump to get on top of the ball. Oh my god, is this monkey ball simulator? We're gonna play monkey ball on Sunday, I think. Alright, you're on. Now try to match the guide on the bottom right. Oh. What? Oh, right here, right here. Right here? Okay, beat a jump, got it. This would go crazy until controls. 
Alright, not Tokachos, the Wii Fit board. My favorite was like the bubble obstacle course level. <laughs> oh, coins? Okay, we didn't have any believers anyway. It doesn't matter, no importa. You have to go again? What? Okay, I was tilting it the wrong way. I had it tilt tilted forward. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm playing the game, obviously. One day I'm gonna be a pro speedrunner and I'll laugh in your guys' faces. This galaxy will make you want to tear your hair out. I do that anyway. That's a daily <laughs> routine. Fuck! <laughs> Sorry. Full send? I don't need the coin, screw it. I love how the music speeds up when you move forward. Let's go risky. Guys, I'm a pro. I almost threw. I hope you don't drive like this. I don't know. I have no clue. Actually, clueless. I haven't practiced driving yet. Okay, that wasn't that bad. Once I got towards, like, once I got past the first part, it wasn't that bad. That one wasn't... Okay, if I was playing off stream, I would have gotten first try. No joke. There's more of these? Well, I like that level. It's not that bad. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Megan, are the people that drift in front of me? I mean, I just want it to be like Mario Kart. I can love drifting. I would never drive like that, IRL. I'd be too scared. Space Junk Galaxy. That stage took you 7 or 28 tries? <laughs> 7 to 28. That's a huge margin. <laughs> okay, Chavis, go Gamba. Go Gamba. Pole Star Path. Okay, my dad is chopping wood. It's fine. Ignore it. I will try to ignore it as well. Yes. Oh. Cave in here? That's good. Very good. He's probably triggering some of y'all that I'm not getting the star bits. I just forget. Wood fire fireplace? Yeah, we have a wood stove. What? <laughs> wood for your mom? Hey, yo. Okay, I gotta move back. I don't want to clip my table. How, how do 
I do this? Oh, I forgot. Oh no. My DUM. Tab one. Okay, I got confused. Wait, the stage is called Pull Star, isn't it? <sighs> Guys, I'm so smart. Look, it's backwards. L. Get him off. Second time I cut into your mom joke. <clears throat> That's the way of the game. You know, I'm allotted one or two your mom jokes per stream. Looks like a mint chocolate chip cookie. Guys, I think I'm just hungry. I'm keeping count. I don't like how they didn't stay there, though. <clears throat> Hi, Ethan. Welcome in. Heard that you're streaming Pokemon Scarlet on release day? No, I'm not. Don't be starting rumors in my chat room. <laughs> I'm sorry, believers. Hi, Pride. Welcome in. I'm sorry. Oh, now I gotta go back and get it again. Okay, this level goes kind of crazy. Is this your first time playing? Yes, it is. I've seen some people play it on stream, or like, 
like YouTube walkers, but I wasn't paying attention. And I only watched like, excuse me, the end. So I don't know any of the levels. Oh, I hate how like, you have to come back. So you can't really see where you're gonna walk. Okay, surely this time I won't fuck up. Speed run this? Dude, I would lose my mind. Okay, chatters, would you genuinely watch me try to become a speedrunner? Tab one. If I see one tooth, then I'm never speedrunning ever in my life. Two? Okay, I'm never being a speedrunner. Thank you, Mac. <laughs> I like having hair. <laughs> oh! I mean, because, like, speedrunners, it's usually, like, just finding clips and skips in the game. And if I can't even do a normal triple jump, no fucking way I can become a speedrunner. No shot. No way. It seems that a prankster comet has appeared somewhere. Prankster comets have very strange effects on galaxies. If you want to learn more about these curious comets, let's ask the Luma who knows about such things. I also think like speedrunning streams aren't fun to watch. Like I'd very much watch like a compilation video than somebody attempting a speedrunning a speedrun a hundred times, you know? Hey ho! If you need to know anything about prankster comets, I'm your Luma. How can I help? <laughs> Move it, bitch! Tell me more. <laughs> that prankster comet is always stirring up trouble, making galaxies go all crazy. Speedy comets limit the amount of time you can spend there. Daredevil comets leave you with low life. Oh no. It's like tryhard mode. Cosmic comets make you race the mirror of yourself. Fast foe comets make your enemies move faster. Now the fun part is trying each one out. Mario Tennis Aces? I think I have that game. Or no, I have I have I have the Mario Tennis game that was on the Switch. Oh wait, I can add that to our stream goal list. I forgot I had that game, because my sister keeps all the games like in her room. And that I just keep whatever like cartridges that I need for streaming my room. But she keeps all the cases in her room. There's multiple stars there. We're talking about Rosalina, not the games. Yeah, no gamers in chat. Nopers, no gamers. <laughs> I mean, honestly, gamers are annoying. Have one if you agree. Oh, wait, prediction! Shatters, do you think I'll game over on this star, Go Gamba? You don't think gamers are annoying? I think gamers are really fucking annoying. And I myself am annoying, so... Oh, holy. <clears throat> Mario! My brigade boarded the enemy fleet and now they have returned! As captain, I would go save them myself, but I'm much too busy at the moment. And scared. A captain must go down with his ship. Toad is a bad captain. He don't like Captain Toad. Captain Toad lied. People died. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot if you get coins, you get one-ups. Oh, fuck. I'm Frank. Oh, I gotta talk to them. <clears throat> to get stuff that's too high to reach, jump and then spin. Okay, I knew that. I'm not- I'm not actually dealing. Am I supposed to go this way? Oh, 
there's a one up. I want to switch my vote. Nope, there's no recall election just yet. Talking about voting, make sure everybody, if you are above the age of 18, make sure you're registered to vote. I know I'm gonna mail my ballot tomorrow. Secret? Wait, hold! <gasps> Guys, I'm a pro gamer. Somebody clipped that, that was epic. Oh, why can't I open it? I can't climb. Oh, you're not American? Oh, okay. I mean, doesn't America rule the world? <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. I mean, talking about voting, a lot of people think that they just need to vote for presidential, but local elections, so like for your city officials, and also your state representatives, whether it be like your state representatives, your governors, senators, they're all just as important as the presidential, if not more important. Come on, look at me. Americans are memed all outside of the US. I know, I know. I think it's because you guys want to be us, right? Like, y'all are just- fuck, y'all are just jealous. Oh! Hey, yo! Red shell? What is if I throw it from here? Easy. All ramen noodles are good? I agree. Wait, I'm surprised I haven't game over yet. I thought I did, but remember I landed on the Toad Island? That was crazy. Also, Chatter better clip that, because that was fucking epic. <clears throat> I'm gonna be really mad if nobody clips that. Oh, shit. <gasps> Boss fight time? Okay, first try. First try. Ramen noodles are mid. Mac never has good takes. They're always bad. Oh, shit.
There we go. Right in his face. What? Oh, okay. It doesn't hurt you. It just ricochets you. Let's do! Battle phase? Okay, this is not cool. Th this is a bit too much. Fuck! I just spammed. I wasn't <laughs> even aiming. Okay, there's literally way too much going on screen. I told you guys first try. Wait, is that the first time I first tried a boss in this game so far? Easy. Screw the doubters. Fuck all of them. Wait! I'm sorry. I... <laughs> I accidentally chose the wrong outcome for the prediction. So. <laughs> um. Are you kidding? No, I. This is real. This. <laughs> you guys got scared. <laughs> oh no. I'm sorry. Thank God it was only 20 to 23 points. Dude, imagine if they were like in the thousands. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Fuck me. I'm so used to like game overing, so it's just like instinctively I click. Rig another one? Oh, maybe. I, I guess I could to make it fair. Because, like, there's no way to refund a prediction, I don't think. Once it's completed. Yep, I fucked up. <laughs> Mods banned me. <laughs> Okay, get back to it. Nobody, nobody mentioned the mistake I made. Ooh, speedy comment in orbit. orbit. Thanks for the point. Yeah, of course. No problem. <gasps> speedy comment in orbit. I'm snitchy. <laughs> no, don't ban me. Don't ban me. Watch it, Twitch death. Okay, chatters, go gamba. I might screw this prediction up too, but go gamba. Oh, pull star path speed run. Four minutes. Okay, we're speed running. Holy. Oh, what the? My. Okay, sorry, the direction sometimes flips. It's weird. See, look, like that. That was fucking weird. Okay, we're good. Back on track. For speed running. Oh, it has a timer on the bottom. I did not see that. We're not even gonna look at the timer. Dude, I hate how the screen is red, too. I don't like it. Can I cut through here? Nope. Keep two-third left. Just about halfway through.
Oh, wait, that's the end. The way I lose. I have two minutes. Oh, wait, I thought this was the end. Never mind. Oh, no, this part. Fuck. Okay, I'm too tired. No, wait, better do nothing to distract me. First try. One ten. Yep. <gasps> This time I'll get it. See, I just make silly mistakes where I just run off the edge. It's because I lack that perception, okay? I have glasses. I need a new prescription. Well, see? Oh my god, the, con the controls like bug out. If I'm trying to go left, it goes right. It's whack. And when again, how does this happen? I I just need to get good, apparently. Okay, I'm doing good on time. I'm like 30 seconds ahead than when I was last time because I was at like 210 before. No, I was at 2 like 30. I'm 10 seconds ahead. Surely I can do it this time. I can't reach. Oh! Got a Goomba? Oops, that wasn't. I didn't mean to do that. <clears throat> okay, at least the timer stopped there. I do appreciate that. Okay, I have two minutes. Okay, turn around. One more. I have a solid minute 20.
I'm gonna get a new PB. I'm not happy right now. What would have been worse if I like, if I got to like literally the last platform? But it was like the second to last, so that wasn't as bad as it could have been. I guess. There we go. 220. Okay, I'm up 20 seconds. <clears throat> oh my god. And I just lost five right there. Okay, back here again. Will I make the same mistake again? Third time is always the charm. Do you think you'll play Luigi in Galaxy? Didn't you say you unlock Luigi when you get all the stars? That, that'll that depend on if I have time. Because I'm still working on stars from 3D World. Because I'm stuck on one level. And it's making me really mad. So I don't know if there's any sub count that would justify putting me through pain. Enemy base spotted! We're detecting massive energy spikes. What are they doing there? Well, left. Um, I'm in, like, the final... Because you know how, like, the final few worlds of 3D World is, like, harder versions of previous levels? I'm working through that right now. So it's gonna take me a bit. Oh... Should we do Bowser? Let's see, we got 15 minutes. Should we try Bowser? Hmm. Let's go ahead and just go for the Bowser one. Bowser Star Reactor. Okay. Chatter's new prediction. Instead of game over, we'll do with beat it within. Let's turn caps locks off. Within three tries. Okay, Chatter's new prediction, new prediction. Do you think I can get the star within three attempts? Chatter's go Gamba, go Gamba, go Gamba. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to go back and get more one-ups. Okay, Chatter's go Gamba. Do you think I can get this star within three attempts? 
The fiery stronghold. That sounds scary. Ooh. Wait, what? My controls were inversed again. Hi, Crystal. Welcome in. Hope your day gets better. Holy. Yeah, Chatters, it was Emmy's birthday yesterday. So she's probably- Oh. She's probably gonna do a birthday stream, I think, tonight or later next week. Definitely gonna take a nap? I mean, it's because my voice is so soothing, right? Right? Okay, that is- this part isn't that bad yet. Wait, actually? Oh, no! Okay, that's attempt number one. I just noticed you guys put 21 in both Believe and Doubt. Good job, chatters. <laughs> 21 is my second favorite number. <laughs> yeah, I mean, usually goes live at like 9 p.m., and that's like literally my bedtime. And like, when I watch streams, I don't like to lurk, I like to chat. I, I like I think it's nice to when you can like fully enjoy the stream to its like full extent by like chatting. But I don't know. Yeah, I need to get that one up. So we're gonna loop back around. Dude, the camera is disgusting. I bet 21 in doubt. You're not sorry. You're literally not sorry. <laughs> that was way too close. Wait, huh? Camera makes it makes me want to throw up. <gasps> Second try is gonna be it. Oh no. Wait, hold. No! Saved! Come on, come on. <laughs> oh, you finally made it. Just in time for me to stomp you into space bits. Don't tell me, don't tell me. I will figure it out. I'm very smart. Wait, do I need to jump on him? Jump on it! Oh. Maybe I need to debate? Seems like I need 
need to break all these. Fuck! Okay, I just need to dodge better. Mod check Bowser? Oh, here it comes. Actually. Oh, I almost dodged it that time. Wait, is that not it? Heart. Okay, well, I had the basic idea right. I got it, I got it now. No! That dumbass. Okay, that's attempt number two. I got pretty far. Okay, attempt number three. Believers on their last leg right now. I'll do it for you guys. Back here again. Did you guys see his eyebrows blowing in the wind? I took hit, but you know it's fine. So did he. <laughs> no! Oh, damn it. I had it and then I didn't have it. Oh shit, I took it. Okay, 
It's so hard to like debate him. <laughs> what? How? Foolish, Mar. My plan is too far along now. You really think you can stop me? What if, what if I just, like, fell off? What if I was just like, ooh, what's down there? Dunk. Hmm. <laughs> Should I? <laughs> I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Will I get it within three tries? Yes, I did. Good job, believers. I would have gifted for you to do it. Damn it, you should have said that sooner, Mac. Damn it. Because if we get two subs today, we'll do Cult of the Lamb. No. I know what you're talking about, Luigi, but no. This the was stream ends when I beat the cloud world. I know what you're talking about. Really? Yeah, it would have been funny, Mac. It would have been funny. You gotta type faster. I would have I would have gladly thrown for a gifted sub to waste five minutes. Wow. You rescued another grand star, and power has returned to another dome in the back of the observatory. Hmm. But, I still don't think we have the star power we need to fly the observatory through the universe. The villain who kidnapped your special one took her far from here, to the center of the universe. Once our star power is restored, the observatory will be able to go there. Then you can reunite with your special one. Did why is she not saying my girlfriend? <laughs> hey, yo! Thank you for that gifted sub, Mac. Thank you. I gave one now. Someone else too. Mod checks. Primers. But thank you, Mac. You're going to get your name written in the subscriber journal at the end of stream. Thank you. <coughs> okay. So, Chaz, we are literally exactly two hours into stream. So, you know what time it is. It's time for me to run some ads, baby. So... After the ad, I think we can pause Galaxy for today, and then we can do Animal Crossing. So, if you like more chill, more just chatting vibes, stick around. We're gonna do Animal Crossing. Ooh, that looks weird. That curl right here. Anyway, it's fine. Yeah, Mac, you need one more gifted to get your November sketch card. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, chat is... If you want to avoid that ad, just subscribe for $4.99 or $5. Skip your coffee and your ad for viewing all month long. Or... You can hashtag so for free with Prime by linking your Amazon Prime to your Twitch account. Click subscribe. See if you have a subscription or see if you have a Prime sub available. What in the world is that sound? It's, it's Toad, I think, beeping. Okay. 
Also, if you have to watch that ad, no problem. I literally just uploaded a new TikTok, so go like it, go leave a comment, I'd appreciate it. So I'll get some water, get a snack, we'll see some of you, some of you guys in a few. Oh look, look at Mario. He's taking a nap. I think it's funny when the game asks, do you really want to quit? Are you really done for the day? Okay, I'm gonna change out the cartridge. Oh, chatters, um... Try out this overlay. When you type emotes, they show up on screen. Wowie. I'm not gonna enable this overlay all the time, it's just there sometimes. Let's put this behind chat, though. There we go. Yeah, wowie. So anytime, like, the chair's on screen, we'll have this emote spam on. <laughs> Holy. That way you guys can have some fun. So, like, anytime I go to the bathroom, I've decided I'm just going to put it on emote mode, and then you guys can spam. That way there's something on screen. And it also works with um, third-party emotes, too. So, like, if you spam banger, it shows up, too. Okay, what should we call... What should we make the title? How do you spell beginning? Oh shit. Sorry, I tried the wrong thing. What's good clickbait? I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think of my title? Is it cringe? I feel like it's cringe. You're at 16k points. Let's go. And you are. You do have enough for another gifted sub. Old overlay is back. <clears throat> okay, so chatters, you've been to the stream. Um, Animal Crossing is a bit more chill, so feel free to ask questions, talk to each other, talk to me. You know, more chill, just chatting type vibes as you play the game. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Maybe I should do, it's beginning to look a lot like, and then just underscore. I'll do that. Like, fill in the blank. <laughs> I think that's funnier. Hello there, everyone. Right now in Table, it is 1.09 p.m. on Thursday, November 3rd, 2022. I don't, have any big, I don't have any big news to share with you all today, but I would like to touch on one seasonal topic. This morning, I couldn't help but notice mushrooms are starting to pop up all over the island. Hmm, mushroom pie. Of course, they're delicious, but don't forget they can also be used in the occasional DIY project. Speaking of... Everybody get your phones out. Everyone with the DIY recipes app should have received my recipe for a mushroom wreath. No fall is complete without par partaking in that classic combo, forging and crafting. And with that, I'll get back to work supporting you and your enjoyment of our island. Dude, my shirt looks so whack on screen. I don't know if you guys see it, but I see like it's this wavy look. Dude, it's whack. Well, I need to change. <laughs> it's not Halloween anymore. You know, we ain't cosplaying.
Dude, I look wild. Ooh, we should be like coffee baristas since it's fall. You know, pumpkin spice? Ooh. Oh, I look old. <laughs> it already feels like winter in my head. Dude, some parts of Washington are getting snow. That to me is crazy. Ooh, I don't like that. That doesn't match. Don't I have, like, another chef's hat? I feel like I did. Or maybe this was it. We'll go with the bow. I think that's cuter. Where are my closed toe shoes? Just in case I spill coffee. Dude, I look so whack. Yeah, I agree. The makeup makes it look whack. Yeah, I need to, I need to fix this. I don't like it. I don't like it, Sam I am. I do look cute though. I'm ready for work. No, why is the visitor coming in? Why? I fucking hate. I do not want to hang out. I look like a mess right now. I literally look like a zombie. <laughs> Can you leave? Whoa! Oh! 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 oh. Hello, Ellie! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Whoa! Didn't have to be so forward! No wonder you wanted to come over! <laughs> You know, my eyes aren't this color, but I like it a lot. Get back to normal. Okay, I haven't played Animal Crossing since Halloween. And I also haven't done anything on my island. Wait, I don't have my glasses. Guys, how could you not grill me for that? You guys always give me shit when I don't wear glasses in-game. You're like, how are you gonna see IRL if you don't have glasses in-game? Ready for work. See, I would love to work at a coffee place. I think it'd be fun, but I don't know if I could handle it. Because I was talking about it with a friend the other day, and a lot of entry-level jobs, they're customer service. And just the way your coworkers, your management, and also the public treats you, it's meant to put you down. Like, genuinely? It fucks up your mental health. Like, I worked in service for like... Three, four years a total of. And it ruined me. Like, it genuinely broke me. <laughs> um, that's why, like, I've taken... At this point, like, a year and a half off of work. Like, it's too much. And it's different if you felt, like, respect from the public. Or respect from just your coworkers. But it's not often that that does happen. It's like, how are you supposed to deal with everything else going on in your life when your workplace is shit? <laughs> Bro, you working at Starbucks? I've also applied to a few Starbucks. I mean, a few coffee places. 
But I think the reason why my didn't go through is because I applied online and then I dropped off my resume in person because I had, like, I was kind of buddy-buddy with a few of the workers. But on my resume, I put that my food card expired a year ago, so I didn't update it. So that was probably my fault. That was my error. But okay, I think also a bubble tea stand would be fun. But then it's like the blenders are so fucking loud. You'd get guaranteed tinnitus after like two hours of working. I think Subway is like the best place to work as long as it's fully staffed because the prep work is easy making the actual food is easy like I've, I've said this I would go back to Subway oh shit um but just the staffing issue isn't fixed like if you go to any Subway there's only like one person working and that's just the standard and the reason why is because there are so many locations to where it doesn't warrant like five or four people working. That's why you usually see max like two or three people. And also just the way like the kitchen and the lines are set up. It's not meant for like mass production. Okay, I have to learn all these recipes for you because I forgot to do this the other day. Because <laughs> like I think making food is fun. Oh, I already know this one. Like, I think a bakery would be fun, but I would- I have- I know a few friends who worked at, like, grocery store bakeries, and, like, at a few, like, independent shops, too, but they're, like, it's- It's way too, like, it's a high-stress environment, and also, like, with the added component of, like, hot-ass ovens, it's a bit much. You actually don't know where you want to work? Um, if you're still in school- I would recommend to not work while you're in school. Like, you can definitely try and see if there's, like, summer opportunities or, like, maybe get, like, a part-time. I know in my area we have, like, a local county fair that's open for a few weeks during fall. So usually, like, kids will get, like, a job for two weeks or something. Um, so that's always, like, something nice to, like, kind of get kids used to, like, a work environment. But if you're gonna do college after high school and you have the opportunity to like whether you're dorming or you're getting support from your parents or you're able to like roommate with somebody and not have to worry about working i would say like don't work it's not worth putting too much on your plate um but if you feel like you can handle a job i think working any service job will gain you like a really big perspective to just gain more respect and kind of like empathy towards people because when you're being put down all day, you inherently just want to be nicer to people. Yeah, Target is bad. I've, I haven't heard anything good about Target. The only good thing is like the slightly more than minimum wage they offer. And that's like the only good thing. I think if you don't want to work, I think volunteering is really good to get into as well. That way you just get used to... Um, like working with people like working with like your volunteer leader or whoever runs the organization that way you kind of get used to working with adults before you go to like an actual work environment i would go cry in the bathroom damn mood we would we would go into like the walk-in fridge and just ball our eyes out i think retail would be fun because i think i would be great at selling shit what do you guys think you know i shill subs all day wouldn't I be great at selling shoes or hats? I think I'd be great. Oh, you know what I think would be fun? I think working at like a plant nursery would be really fun. Because we have a few like local like grocery stands and like um, fruit stands or not fruit, plant stands. I think that'd be fun. But, like, my main issue right now is that I can't stand. I can't stand for more than, like, an hour. So, there's no way I could work any job that would require me to, like, stand all day. Okay, I'm gonna really see fish. You know, we're... We're animal lovers, apparently. I kind of want to go to a deserted island. I need to get more resources. I don't know. 
know what my dream job would be, though. I've thought about it, and I've always wanted to work for myself in some capacity. Not necessarily like having a business, but being able to do something creative in which I can support myself. That's why I like the idea of doing commission or freelance work. I think that'd be really fun to try. Because I'm very much a pacifist, but I can be assertive if I need to. Like, if I'm in an environment where, like, people don't step up and take charge, then I will be, like, a leader figure. If it's a small group of people, mind you. Like, if it's a small team of, like, five, then I'll take charge. So, I'm just hoping that what I'm doing with streaming or what I'm doing with art, people enjoy. And maybe one day it can become feasible. Because, like, I don't necessarily want to do stream full-time. Because I think that's not sustainable unless you have, like an internal infrastructure in terms of like editors social media managers managers to like help you navigate that but i think being able to do art would be really nice Ooh, veggie cupcakes i don't like the sound of that I mean, my mom used to make, like, cucumber chocolate cupcake or cupcakes when I was little, and they were ite. Like, they literally, you couldn't even taste the cucumbers. Wild. No, zucchini, zucchini. You literally couldn't even taste the zucchini. But, like, the texture was kind of weird. It was kind of, like, stringy. Like, you know how people make, um, like, squash spaghetti? But it's just baked squash that's shredded with marinara. Like, it's not spaghetti. I don't get why they call it spaghetti. It's to, like, trick the vegans into thinking they're eating normal food, but they're not. Just say it's squash with pasta sauce. It'd be like chicken marinara, but squash marinara, you know? Carrot cakes are good. I agree. Carrot cake is soft because the cream cheese makes it. I really want cake now. I could make a cake. What I want to do when we move out, like, I want to make everything myself. Like, I talked to my sister about it, I was like, you know, we can maybe get takeout or, like, go out to eat, like, maybe every other week. Maybe once a week, maybe, if we could afford it. But I want to be able to, like, learn how to make things on my own. Like, oh, okay. I want to get really good at making crepes. Like, my favorite thing is, like, you know, the crepes are, like, the really thin, eggy pancake with, like, the filling inside. I want to learn how to make that. Because anytime I go to, like, a breakfast place, I have to get crepes. If they have it available. Because, like, I can't make that at home. It's, it's, like, I haven't, like, mastered how to make it. <gasps> oh, it's snowing! Chatter's hole. They sell makers for it? No way. No way. Yeah, uh, Luigi, if we do another, like, playing with viewers Animal Crossing, I'll make sure to announce it. If there's ever, like, a shooting star night or something like a planned event, then I'll make sure to tell you guys. So just make sure y'all are following my Twitter, because that's when I post if I ever do, like, a bonus stream or whatever. Yeah, we could do a crepe making stream. I've said it before, but like, if I'm able to stream from the kitchen, then I would love to do like making video game food IRL. Like, if we can do food from Eastward, from Cooking Mama, there's some recipes in like Link. We can make like savory stuff. That could be like a weekly or lively series, depending. Because like, obviously, that stream would take like prep, like getting your groceries list ready. I think I kind of want to make different graphics for it. I don't know, I'm thinking about it. But I think that'd be fun. Also, um, if we do move, I don't know if I'm gonna have a whole room for stream. Because... We're still figuring out, like, the room situation. 
Uh, anyway. So, like, maybe... Because, like, we don't want to use a room just for stream. To us, like, everybody who wants to move in feels like it's a waste. So, like, if we have a room to where it's, like, a craft or art room, then, like, everybody can use it. But I can still stream, like, the art streams from that room. And I was like, okay, that's fair. Because, like, I'm, I'm totally fine with doing, like, gaming streams from my bedroom. Like, that's what I do now, and that's totally fine. <laughs> Living room streamer. <laughs> I mean, I think it would be kind of weird seeing people walk around in the background, you know? I know I get kind of, like, anxious watching streams where I can see their door in the background. Because, like, I know me as the viewer can't do anything if something happens. But I know if I were streaming and, like, my door was on camera, then I would be scared that, like, somebody would walk in. I mean, like, a family member, not, like, someone bad. But still, it kind of... Or, like, if I see, like, a window in the background, too, I'm like... Also, like, people will chat. Be like, oh my god, somebody's in the window. Or someone's at the door. And it's like, I just want to avoid that entirely. So, I think... If I do stream from my room, I'll have a similar setup to now. Where it'll just be, like, a backdrop behind me. I don't want to have, like, a bed and frame. Or a door. Or a window. I love the winter... It would be nice if I lived in an area where I could, like, meet people more. I guess do, like, collab streams. I feel like that'd be fun, but I don't live near anybody, really. Kitchen streamer? I mean, why not? You know, I have to love Cutie Cinderella streams. Because it's kind of like just listening to your mom cook in the background. And it's really, like, comforting. It's weird. Because, like, I didn't get it until I started watching more of her streams. And I was like, oh my god, I understand now. <clears throat> but I wouldn't... I don't know if I want to make, like, the main focus for this channel just chatting. Because I feel like at its core, Twitch is like a gaming website still. But... If you want to showcase, like, your commentary or your personality more, then you need to do more just chatting. Because, like, when you do gameplay streams, you're very much reacting to what's on screen. Or what's on screen. With whatever you're playing. But commentary and, like, reacting and just chatting showcases what you can think of on the spot. I think that's why a lot of people, like, shit on react channels or, like, react streamers. But a big reason why people watch them is because they like hearing their opinions. But then it also brings up the argument. It's like, you need people to care about your opinions. That's why I think it's weird when people do reacting from the start. When you don't have a base audience. Because if nobody knows you, they're not going to care what you think. I was trying to explain this to my sister. Because she's like, why don't you just do a commentary YouTube channel? And I was like... Who's gonna watch somebody who does not have a platform and respect my opinions? That's another reason why it's kind of weird when people make a podcast when they don't have a platform. It's like, it's very much like ego. Because <laughs> you just expect strangers to listen to what you have to say. That is our insightful thought for the day. What do you guys think? Oh, the snow effect is so nice. I forgot how much I love the snow season in game. Well, time to make a podcast. Lamau. Says the guy who won't even stream. SMH. I mean, streaming is scary. I think streaming is definitely the most intimidating form of content to make. Because you have so much time to fill. And if you don't have a lot to say, it can, it's very stressful. And also, just the idea of not being able to, like, edit stuff out is kind of like, wow. I do think streaming is very easy. Like, it requires the least amount of production value. Also, chatters, this is an open letter. 
If anybody knows how to do VFX or After Effects with editing, I would love to work with you. Because I'm working on getting raw footage for like the best of compilation for 2022. And I don't want it to just be clips. I want it to have like effects and stuff and like meme edits. So if anybody knows how to do said edits, you can reach out to me on Twitter and show me any edits you have done. I will obviously compensate you for your work and your time. So, open letter to chatters. I'll post on Twitter closer to December, but I'm ready to go home. You have everything to stream? Bro, buying the equipment and not fucking streaming. Wimp. <laughs> oh no. I mean, what, what was me? Or how was I? I think I watched dreams for like... Like six to eight months and then I mustered up the courage and had the time to start streaming. Like once I had like all my shit ready, that's when I started streaming. But I started streaming doing art. Art, art is cringe if you don't have a platform. Because like art streams don't necessarily push your commentary because you're so focused on like making the actual craft. Looking back, I wish I would have started with gameplay immediately. But that's because, um, my computer could only handle so much, like, processing, because having too many capture cards on it, like, made it brick. So, once I was able to upgrade to my nice Alienware laptop, streams have definitely been better. And also switching to OBS was game-changing, now I can stream in 1080p with no problem. So... Oh, the snow's gone. Your two laptops? Shut up! The other one is a shitty 2017 MacBook Pro. And it's so ass. And I still paid for it with my tuition. That Biden thankfully will clear 30000 or upwards of 30000 in debt. Hey, yo. Oh, like getting a dual PC setup? I don't know. Because I don't know how that works. <laughs> I literally am clueless. Oh, wait, you mean like getting a laptop just for gaming? And then a laptop for stream? I think that'd be DOM. Because like my sister the other day, she's like, I kind of want to get a PC. And I was like, no, you, d you, you, don't, you don't need a PC. You can literally just use my laptop to play games. The reason why I stream when you're at work is so you can use the laptop whenever you want. And like, also I let her use like my Adobe programs that I have access to through school. So, yeah. Oh, oh, you mean like an actual dual PC setup? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I don't know. The, the only thing that I kinda want is I wanna be able to like wirelessly connect my cameras to my stream. Like, you don't necessarily need to plug in USB or HDMI cords. I need to figure out how to do that. I think in order to get that kind of setup, though, I would need, like, an actual PC. Which, and the thing, the reason why I didn't get a PC when I initially was starting on stream is because I wanted something that was portable. Cause like, I don't have like, a stationary desk to dedicate to a PC. Okay, guys. You know how I got mad at my sister for buying herself an OLED? She also got herself a PlayStation 5. And it's just like... I literally had like a serious discussion 
about like watching what we're spending especially if we're gonna move out soon and like watching what we buy and then she goes and buy a fucking PlayStation 5! Hi, Emmy. Welcome in. <laughs> so I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? And she's like, well, there was like a combo deal to buy the new Call of Duty. And I'm like, bitch! Like, it, it's whatever. It's She already has it. She likes it. But it's like, Okay, she said she won't buy anything for a while. And keep in mind, she's not, like, actually done with her money, okay? But, it's like, ugh. I mean, I have a PS5. That's great. But my point is, like, she should have waited to buy it. And, okay, and one of the people we might move in with has a fucking PlayStation 5. So, it makes me mad. It makes me mad. It makes me want to go home cry day it. Huh. I'd be mad. Yeah, I was mad. Because, okay, because, like, I went in her room. Are we talking about my sister? Yeah, we're talking about my sister. Um. Because I went in her room. Because she's like, oh, you want to go watch me play the cat game? I'm like, yeah. Because, like, isn't the stray game on PlayStation 4 as well? Anyway, so I, I see the white controller on her bed, and I'm like, what did you do? It's fine. It's whatever. She's happy. Now she can't, like, bitch about anything. But I'm still like, bro. <laughs> Guys, stop snickering. Don't be- Don't laugh at my anger. The console is huge. How did you not see it? Okay. Okay, dude. I am blind. But once- Okay. Question. When you walk into a room, the first thing you look at is the bed, right? Because it's like the biggest thing in the room. So that's why I saw the controller that was on her bed first. Yeah, Emmy, my chatters like your emotes a lot. I think Max said they subscribed to your channel just because they saw my emotes in- Or your emotes in my chat. Wow. <laughs> so, ah, uh, yeah. Okay, what else can we do? I guess we can chop some trains. Get to work. We are in our barista fit today. Oh! <laughs> I didn't mean to hit the house. Anything that moves makes me laugh. Huh? Kinda weird. <laughs> no, I know you're talking about emotes, but that's still weird out of context. <laughs> I have a joke, we're not gonna say the joke. Night and Strabies in the PS5? I guess. But I think in order to capture like PlayStation gameplay, you have to get a different like audio cable. Kinda like if you're trying to capture Wii. So it's just like, I don't want to. I don't want to. I'm lazy. Say it. You know how people say they'll bang anything that moves? That's That was my immediate thought when I read your chat. I was like, whoa, Mac is wilding out today. Whoa, dude. Weird dude. <laughs> I can't wait till Christmas, though, honestly. Because I don't like decorating. Because, like, our mom is very, like, strict on how she wants things decorated. And usually, we we've never gotten a real tree. Because <laughs> I was too little to remember this story. But my mom said that when I was, like, five and my sister would have been three, they tied a tree to the top of the car. But my dad didn't tie it well enough, so it flew off the car as they were crossing a bridge. And then it fell into the river. So, rip tree. And after that, 
We just use fake trees. So we usually have two trees. One is for blown glass, glass ornaments and the other is for just like a theme of the year. But we haven't done that because I think once you hit a certain age, like in your late teens, you kind of lose that kind of whimsical things to holiday. And I think it's different if you have like a lot of family, but I don't have any family here. Like my dad's side is in New York, my, grand my mom's side is in Hawaii. So we don't have any, we literally have no family here. So for every holiday, including Thanksgiving, because we can never afford to travel, um, it's always just the four of us. Like it'd be different if we had like one person come over, but we never did like a Friendsgiving or anything like that. Because of course everybody else has their own family. So I know me and my sister kind of lost that like joy once we became like teenagers, but I don't know. It, it's weird because if you don't have a lot of family present, you don't have a lot of traditions. Because it's hard to kind of do everything on your own. And that's something that I've thought about as well. Okay, mind you, I don't ever want to have kids. Like, that's never happening. And if it does, then I'm definitely adopting. No way I am birthing a child. Because kids are icky. <laughs> But it's kind of like, if I were to have a family one day in 10 years minimum, um, what would the household like traditions be like? Because if you don't grow up with many, like, how are you going to implement that into your future generation? That's like something I've been thinking about recently. I don't know, it's just like weird stuff. You don't like when people come over for Christmas? It's annoying. Damn. Mac leaving people outside in the cold. Your dad has to work on Christmas? Bro. I can't imagine. I know when I was working with food, the only holidays we had off was Christmas Day and then Thanksgiving Day. And we were open the day before and day after. Because the thing with food, like, there's always going to be people who don't celebrate. So there's always going to be people who order, like, takeout, which is fine. But obviously, there's not going to be enough sales for free holidays to justify being open for full hours. Like, I think it was a year when I worked, um, like, Christmas Eve. And we were only open from like 9 to 2. Like we were literally just open for breakfast and lunch. Like it was so dumb. It's D-O-M. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna do Thanksgiving this year either. Because if my sister and I move during Thanksgiving week, I don't know if we're going to celebrate. I don't know. We'll see. Oh wait, Chad, I need to, I need to show you guys this. An idea that I want to do for like a big project for like a stream background. Wait, I got to turn on Do Not Disturb. Hold. I have like a few like art projects saved on Instagram. Like, you know, for inspiration. Did I not save it? Am I actually DOM? Dude, am I DOM? No, what is this? This is crazy. Oh, wait, I have to turn that emote wall off. Hold. Max being annoying. But look at this. It's like all these wood pieces that are cut at an angle that we see they're all like it's an ombre color. But then the way that the wood is cut, it creates this angular like shadow effect. It's insane. And I've seen like other projects similar to this, but they use folded paper. So the I Okay, nobody take the idea. Nobody take it. The idea I have is I get a huge 
sheet of like plexiglass or like plastic clear plastic and then I attach like white paper and then that way the light will shine through the white paper that way I can put like colored lights behind it and then I can choose the color of it I think that would go crazy but I still need to like figure out how to do it those are sticky notes no those are wood but I could make mine out of like actual sticky notes if I wanted to but that's the idea that I want to do for a background I think that would go crazy because that sounds hard. I mean, what you would have to like engineer everything, but that's something that obviously I'd be able to do. Cause like I want to work big with art. Like I love like the huge murals. I think it's amazing what the people can do. And also, when you work big, you can also get like more detail in. And it's also like more impactful. I feel like people appreciate like larger pieces of work than like a small drawing. That's why like I like sculptors a lot. There's this one guy he made the sculptor series out of like wires. So like he like twisted and like weaved together wires to make like mannequins. It was cool. It'd be cool if you had a bulletin board of your art. I think that'd be cool. I think what I want to do is get oh wait. Mm -hmm. You could change it for stream? Yeah, I could. Um, I have like this wooden frame over here. You guys probably saw it when we did calligraphy. But, because I can't put anything on the wall. Like, I'm not allowed to like screw in walls or nail things in the wall. So maybe I could get like a small shelf and I could put like my paintings on it behind, like in the background or something. Or I could just get like a fuck ton of easels and put them on easels. <laughs> but I think doing a background like the one I showed you, but with paper, I think would be cool. For like the norming like the normal neutral stream background. I do kinda wanna like test out that idea. Like I wanna be able to see if you can even see light through paper if I work on like a clear surface. I think it should work. I don't know, like, you know when you have ideas and then when you execute them, it just doesn't come out? <laughs> it's kinda like that. Another idea that I had for, like, a big project is I want to paint on, like, big canvases or panels and make it so it's, like, a backdrop for pictures. Kinda like, you know, those selfie museums? I think that'd be kinda interesting. Ooh, start with a completely baked blank background at Easter and you paint one thing on it? Ooh, that'd be a cool stream segment. So if you write it down. <laughs> like, I could just get, like, maybe, like, a really big canvas or just a big sheet of butcher paper. Hmm. And then we can maybe add that segment to, like, the normal main channel screen. That way we do that for, like, an hour. That way we can make airtime, like, four hours. Maybe. Maybe. It all depends on um, how much time I have. Because if we do move out, like, I'm gonna play wifey. I'm gonna do all the household chores and cook and shit. Because I'm not gonna be working. Um, I was talking to my sister about it. And, yeah, he's reading. He's so cute. Wow. <laughs> he's so adorable. Anyway, because, like, a housekeeper makes, like, minimum wage income, if not more. So I was like... If I do literally everything in the house, then I'm basically a housekeeper. And my sister was like, I agree. And I was like, should I, so you'd cover my rent, right? She's like, yeah. I'm like, let's fucking go. So, I'm basically gonna be the maid of the house, which is fine. But then it's like, if I have to prep dinner every night, then I'd have to start at like 3 p.m. So maybe, I'll, I'll have to think about it when we do move, but... Your rent went into that PlayStation 5? I know, I know. That's why I got fucking mad at her. So whatever. It's what it's it's it doesn't matter. Hi Nix, welcome in. Yeah, peace I to snicker. <laughs> oh, it's almost out. Like, there's a lot that 
I still have to think about and get ready if we're gonna move at the end of the month. So, I'm sure everything will be fine, but it's still like a lot of stress underlying. Fuck, I did the- I meant to drop it. Yeah, chatters, if we get one more sub, we'll do a bonus Cult of the Lamb stream tonight. Or this evening, I don't know. I did the wrong thing again. Oh my god, enemy, enemy, enemy. It's a misclick. There we go. Oh wait, they wanted to talk to me, but I didn't talk to them earlier. Do they actually want to move out already? No way. I guess we'll have to wait to see if the dialogue comes back. I mean, I don't think I'm ready for another Aurora hunting stream. I don't want to be heartbroken once again. My goal is to, like, get her by the end of the year. That is my goal. So we have basically two more chances. We will find her. And if we don't... I don't know what I'll do. like about working in like entry level or service jobs is since so many of them are understaffed like during pandemic and pre-pandemic I feel like a lot of managers would force you to work when you're sick and I feel like that that is so wrong I think it was definitely like reinforced during pandemic to like if you're sick you can easily transmit it to like anybody in your direct vicinity whether it be like your co-workers or your actual like customers but there's been a few times where, like, managers have, like, seen their employees, like, throw up at work and still make them work. I, I think that is just disgusting. It, like, behavior-wise. Like, it's- okay, it's actually gross, but it's still, like, horrible that that's, like, deemed acceptable. And obviously, if stuff like that happens in your workplace, you do- or you should report it to, like, your HR team or, like, your higher management if that keeps happening. But it's just very unfortunate that people are conditioned to one feel like they should be able to go to work when they aren't feeling well because like if you guys think about it it is flu season right now make sure you get your flu booster shots I got mine about a month ago but imagine you get your like elderly co-workers sick and then they get very sick like one of my neighbors died from hypothermia after he got the flu like it it very much can be drastically worse for like the elderly and children and just because your co-workers are young or middle-aged doesn't mean they don't live with elderly or have kids at home so if you're feeling sick at all use your sick hours you know and if you are terminated for calling out sick one time you can easily report it to like L and I. They say you can go home, but they don't really mean it. Exactly. Exactly. Like, I've been told by, like, previously, like, previous upper management, be like, oh, you know, you can offer them to go home, but then on the phone, I'd be like, okay, I'll tell them that. But then, like, in person, I'd be like, no, just go home. I'm like, I don't, I don't want to work with you. Because, like, you don't know which of your coworkers are, like, immunocompromised either. Or if they have anybody who's immunocompromised. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> the apple.
I don't think I've had any co-workers who were- Okay, before we talk about vaccination, everybody make sure you get your boosters, make sure you get your first, second doses of your COVID vaccines. Also get your flu boosters, because it is flu season. Anyway, I don't think I've had any co-workers who are outwardly anti-vax. I think it's because a lot of my co-workers were, like, kids. Not kids, but like, um, like young adults. But... So I don't think I've ever interacted with a hardcore anti-vaxxer, but I think the biggest way you can tackle a type of discussion is the the easiest thing is to say talk to your own doctor. Like I don't think any good doctor would tell you to not get a vaccine unless it would actually affect your immuno. Like I know some people have allergies, I know some people have adverse effects to certain vaccines, but just the baseline response is Tell them, talk to your doctor. You should not base all of your opinions or outlooks on things just based off of things you read online. Always talk to professionals. Because they are trained to have your best like health interests in mind. And also, don't feel like you have to talk to one doctor. You can always ask for a second opinion. That doesn't mean you should look for an opinion that agrees with yours. But... People should always have faith and trust in medical professionals. I think it's just also crazy how medical technology has advanced so much to where we basically eradicated some diseases when this technology wasn't available like two, three hundred years ago to, to the degree it's at now. Like, it's such a privilege, the advancements that we have, and people should utilize them. I trust my doctors? Good. Face Luigi take. We love to hear that. That's really good. That's really- I'm really glad to hear that. Cause like, there's a lot of young people, like teenagers or, uh, what you call it? Like, preteens who are hesitant. But always follow your doctor's recommendations. Listen to your parents. Oh no! Hold, can I do it? I still got it. I still got it, baby. Dude, should I go pro? <laughs> yeah, the last tree. Oh shit, I didn't mean to drop it down. Oopsie. <laughs> That's not my fault. That was an accident. Did you know you can get a tax credit if you plant like X amount of trees? It's either like a hundred or a thousand trees. I think it's a thousand. I have to look that up more because that's what my parents want to do. They're like, we're going to plant a fuck ton of trees and get so much money from the government. I'm like, okay. Trees are good. I don't know why some people are hesitant. I think it's because some people are easily misled. And it's also just in general right now, there's a lot of mistrust in like authoritative figures, whether it be like politicians, 
the government, medical professionals. So it's very difficult for people who already have like biases or have a tendency to not be trusting. It's very easy for them to fall down that rabbit hole of like going into conspiracies or anti-vaccination like ideology. So at its core, if you do interact with anybody who does have those type of sentiments or beliefs, you can't combat them too much because initially they were misled by some type of person or a media outlet that is meant to be combative and argumentative. So you just have to give them facts, tell them to talk to their own doctor, and hope they will change their mind. It's unfortunate that the people are easily misled by misinformation, but it happens. That's what happens when people have access to so much um, information online. Like, back in the day, like when my, when my mom was in school, um, she had to literally go to the library and look things up in, like, an, in, a, in an encyclopedia to learn things. Like, she didn't have any internet. Well, I'm, I'm gonna finish my, my tangent before we talk to Daisy. Like, they didn't have access to so much good information and also wrong misinformation as we do now with the internet. So, when you have so many people, so many sources, so many, like, articles, research papers saying different things, it's very hard for people to determine what is right. And also when you hear language that is very, like, extremist or meant to, like, mislead you, <laughs> cough, cough, Republican Party. party. Um, it's very easy for people who aren't educated or people who don't want to, like, investigate things further and get, like, things from reliable sources. It's very difficult for them to, like, figure out what is the reality of what is actually going on. Um, like I said, the best thing you can do if you interact with any anti-vaxxer is give them facts and have them talk to their own fucking doctors. Like, don't be reading shit you hear online. And that's my pro-vaccine speech. Let's go. Get your vaccines, guys, please. It helps you. Helps everybody you interact with. Your family, your friends, your co-workers. Just be kind. Okay, let's talk to Daisy. <gasps> oh, no. I've been thinking maybe I should move and try living elsewhere. I've had fun living here, but I've been itching to make a change. Okay, chat. Wait, let's do the math. Let's do the math. First, let's do a poll. Should we let Daisy leave? Let Daisy leave. Yes or no? Okay, poll is up for two minutes. Pokemon, go to the polls. Should we let Daisy leave? Keep in mind, if we let Daisy leave, then she technically moves out tomorrow, meaning we could do Aurora hunting on Saturday. What am I doing Saturday? I'm not doing anything. Chatters, Pokemon, go to the polls. Right now, we're tied up one-to-one. -one. Pokemon, go to the bowls. Use your democratic right, and Pokemon, go vote in that Let Daisy Leave poll. If she moves, then we can search for the love of my life, Aurora, on Saturday. Oh, but then we'd have to move the monkey ball stream. Fuck! <laughs> Dude, Oilers and Shambles. I keep pushing back the bonus sub -go streams. I mean, it's hard. Stiffy seal. I don't want them to cover the main weekly streams. Chatters, vote, 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 vote. I voted no. What? What? Do you not want to find Aurora? I was just gonna say I thought you were busy. Yeah, I'm not doing anything on Saturday now. You said yes? Everybody else, vote! Lurkers, vote! Everybody, vote! I'm gonna vote! If nobody votes. <laughs> you know, the president's allowed to vote in their own election. Yep. 
You don't know who Aurora is? They're a really cute penguin. They're literally a carbon copy of me, but in Animal Crossing. Okay, I'm voting. I voted. Okay. I split the tie. Let Daisy leave? Yes. Because I want to do an, an, another Aurora hunting stream. I've had fun living here, but I've been itching to make a change. Do what you need to. You've helped me make up my mind. I'm going to do this. I'm going to start a whole new life. I'm sad we have to say goodbye to each other, but I'm excited to make this bold leap. Damn, Daisy literally just got here. Damn. I mean, she got here like two months ago. Oh, that is still kind of new. Okay, well, chatters. I think that concludes Animal Crossing for today. We caught up on our island. This shot looks really pretty. The, the colors are really nice. But now... We have... <laughs> look at Ellie sleeping in the background. Resident sleeper. Okay. <laughs> okay. So... We can do a bonus Aurora hunting stream on Saturday, but then that means we'll do Monkey Ball next weekend. Okay? Because I don't- I literally don't want to go live every day this week. I think that would be crazy. Did I stream Monday? I did stream Monday. Holy, I've been live a lot more recently, huh? Anyway, talking about being live, you know what I have to do when I go live? I have to run ads. So, Chatters, we are three hours in the stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. If you want to avoid those ads, all you gotta do is subscribe. $4.99, just $5 to so keep your coffee and get added for viewing all month long. Or, you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch. You can hashtag sub for free with Prime every month. Click the subscribe button. See if you have a Prime sub available. Don't worry, stream is not over yet. After the ad, we're gonna do you laugh, you freaking lose. A normal ass stream today. So, if you don't want to miss a single second, subscribe. Easy clap. Get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. Okay, let's save our game. My hair is so frizzy. I also didn't put conditioner in. Or leaving conditioner, mind you. So the curls aren't as defined. Since I've been, like, exercising in the morning, I've been able to, like, wash up in the morning, obviously. So that's why I've been wearing my hair down on stream more recently. Okay, let's update our title. Wait. Wait, hold. Oh no! Okay, okay. So, all of my You Laugh, You Lose is from this channel. And it, they had like literally hundreds. Like, look. 200, 209, 189, 137, 103. They're all gone. Oh no. Okay, well. Damn. Uh, chatters, don't worry, don't worry. We'll still, we'll still, <laughs> we'll just react to like their newer videos, I guess. Damn, where'd y'all go? <clears throat> Sad Jeep. Okay, title's now been updated. Okay, I don't think I've seen any of these newer ones, because I've just been watching them from, like, oldest to newest. Which one looks good? Oh my god, Mario Kart meme? Okay, <laughs> I love how when you, like, put your cursor over a YouTube video, it plays a few seconds of it. I love that feature a lot. 
I like when they, did they add that like a year or two ago? I don't know. I like that feature a lot. Okay, anyway, chatters. You guys know the rules. If I laugh, I end stream. If you laugh, type one in chat and tell me what made you laugh. Okay? Okay, let's get on it. Wait, was the monkey wearing a costume? I think it was. Huh? What? I didn't laugh. Wait, what the fuck was that? Oh, it's a Roomba. Dude, I fucking hated that water trend. It's literally dumb. It's not DUM, it's dumb. Wait, why is the video so low quality? I've been watching in 144p this whole time. Why does it default to the lowest goddamn quality? I noticed that too. I was watching back the VOD from reacting to the Mario movie trailer. I literally had it in 480p and not 1080. I was so mad. I'm sorry, Jet. Oh. <gasps> oh. I wanted somebody to slip. <laughs> this is this my insurance card to get it out? <laughs> oh. oh. I just it's slippery. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh. That's why I'm never going biking on a trail. Hey, yo. Oh, it's modded. Okay. The graphics look different. Before filming began, the performers underwent balance and movement training. See that? Didn't even spill my coffee. <laughs> he looks like he beat the punch. <laughs> what the fuck? No! Okay, I thought they were. Oh! Yeah, that was a good gag. continues to bitch slap the American family and that includes at the dinner table <gasps> why would you tell him to do that <laughs> I'm sure you 
how to Wu-Tang. <laughs> oh! Fuck, du ligger afslappet. Fuck, du slapper meget af. Fuck, du bort slapper af. When you have fucking fan, you have... Welcome to my life. This Calypso, it is fucking minging. Paradise Punch Lemonade, it is fucking minging. Suck your dad. British kids are so funny. I didn't laugh. Oh, that could have been sick. There you have it, comfy salmon with griddled vegetables. Why is the salmon like that? It's obviously edited to be longer. It's edited to be longer. Oh my god, it's BBC. Oh my god. Coming up next, Rag and Bone Man. Okay, okay. The stupid clapping one. I did. Did I break? I don't think I broke. I got really close, but why are they still clapping? <laughs> that wasn't that. That didn't count. I already finished. Can anybody laugh? Anybody get got? I did not laugh. That. It just kept on going. It's obviously edited. It, there's no way. No way that is like the actual footage. No shot. Oh my god. Okay, chatters. Chatters, chatters. <laughs> oh my god. Do you mean like the Twitch channel or the YouTube channel we were watching? Because I remember, I think like Ludwig reacts to those comps. So does Emmy Ru. That's why I don't, whenever they do, like, a Yelp videos, I don't watch it. Because I want to, like, watch those videos blind. Okay, Chaz. We did get a gifted sub today. So we do get to do calligraphy. <laughs> if you're new to stream, anybody who donates to the channel, subscribes, cheers, or subs with Prime, they get their name written in our calligraphy journal. So I'm going to go ahead and get some music on for you guys and... Get that camera set up. <laughs> I'm not Brett. <British. laughs> you met the Twitch channel? I think you said you found it on like a YouTube short or something. No, you said TikTok. You said TikTok. I feel like most everyone found me from TikTok. Sag. Any TikTok frogs? Okay, let's get that second camera. Oh shit, I almost unplugged my mic. Yo. You don't have TikTok? I thought you did. Huh? Did we hit the sub goal? No. But that's okay.
Cute titles change. Hi, Zor. Welcome in. <laughs> you just you came in just at the end. But we're doing calligraphy, so anybody who donates or uses their channel points will get their name written. We gotta hit it. Any primers? Mod check? TikTok trash? <gasps> Mods bad, Mac. I swear all my chatters found me from TikTok, so... Okay, we'll do Mac first. No, we'll, we'll do channel points first. So, we had Potato Redeem Rainbow first, as always. <clears throat> blue and pink? I can only do one color, so I think last time we did blue, so I'll do pink, okay? But thank you for redeeming Azure. Yeah, I think it probably was a YouTube short. Because I don't know if anybody's found me from, like, my main channel. So I think most of my subscribers from my YouTube main channel are people who just follow from other platforms. <clears throat> Which is fun. I mean, that's the only way you can really grow a channel is when you bring your audience from other platforms over. Because, like, not a lot of platforms have, like, a decent algorithm. Okay, not decent, but, like... The algorithm algorithms are meant to do different things on different platforms. I did the D way too high. <laughs> Oopsie. But we completed two galaxies in Super Mario Galaxy today. Or not galaxy, but the little houses. I don't know if I'm gonna go back and like completionist all the stars. I think I kind of just get through the main game. But while we're doing calligraphy, let's go ahead and plug my art channel. If you enjoy more chill, more just chatting vibes, and you like watching people make art, consider following the Peace in Art channel. We go live once a week. I'll be live on that channel tomorrow. So click the follow button in chat. It's hashtag free to follow. We're so close to affiliate. <clears throat> what up was YouTube shorts if I sum up on YouTube? I don't know. That, that'd be a rare occurrence then. I, I okay. I only know one person who found me through my original YouTube channel, and that is Dreams. They do like Mario Kart content on YouTube and Twitch sometimes. Because they watched my, um, what you call it? They watched my chat makes me spin the Mario Kart challenge wheel video, and then... No, it's not Dream! Guys, it's not Dream! <laughs> it's not Dream. It's not true. <laughs> anyway, because they, they DM me on Twitter. They were like, hey, can I like do something similar? I saw your video on YouTube and I like the concept. I was like, yeah, go for it, dude. But they make Mario Kart content. That's pretty cool. Okay, we had Mashed Potato redeem with our channel points. Once again, thank you for redeeming. If you have channel points, you can redeem for a sub. True. True, chatters. For only 15,000 points, I will gift you a sub... A special sub just for you. Okay, next we had Azura. Wait, okay, what song is this? No, okay, I don't want to look it up. What is it? Okay, I, I don't know this. Of course it's Mario Kart. Do they not have timestamps? No way, no way. 
Well, they do. C36. Toad's Factory! I knew it! Damn it! I knew it was a weed track! Damn it! Damn it! It's Toad's Factory. Dude, I love that course. No, it's not Coconut Mall, it's Toad's Factory. Because to Coconut Mall, like... <laughs> it's not Coconut Mall. <laughs> Shatter, stop. Guys, 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 guys. Guys. <laughs> okay, we had Azure, redeemed with our channel points. And then... We also had Matt gift a sub to chat today. Thank you, Matt. So this is our last name of the day. So if you want me to write your name, all you gotta do is donate or use your channel points. We got a stall? No! I hate stalling. I also hate stalling. <laughs> Dude, this song goes crazy! I mean, I think the best way to hit the sub goals is everybody just checks if they have a Prime sub available, you know? You can subscribe for free. You get super cool emotes and ad free viewing. And a cool flower, or not a flower badge, but a sprout badge. She called it Toad Stinky Factory because I always wanted it. Nice. <laughs> nice. Oh, I think that me and my sister do sometimes. Um, this is from the purple stage. This, it's the disco one. Uh, anyway. What my sister, our thing used to be like, oh, that's stinky. And then we'd be like, thumbs down. So let's say, for example, like, I'm t my, like, I'm talking to my mom and my sister's in the room. And she, my mom says something that we don't like. We'll make eye contact. And my sister would be like, thumbs down. And we'll kind of like snicker. It's really funny. I think Mario Kart is the best music. Prove me wrong. Electrodome, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, once again, thank you, Mac, for the gifted to the channel. I appreciate you. You're one sub away from the gifted or the sketch card for this month. Any color? Thank you for stalling, Mac. <laughs> but thank you. Chatters, let's go. I want to do orange. I never do orange for Mac. Man, yeah, Mac is fighting. See, like, I don't even need to chill subs. Mac will just do it for me. <laughs> yeah, sub for free with Prime. We had Mac redeem with the channel points. He said to pray. <laughs> you never overdraft. See, like that's that sucks. How your bank account is basically locked. That's so unfair. How is that legal? This is America. 
anything can be legal as long as you twist the rules, you know? I hate capitalism. I called it Toad's Diaper Factory. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> Why the diaper factory, huh? Okay, Max, stop shilling. Stop shilling. It's fine. I don't care. Just one. Okay, chatters, we're done. Don't, Mac, don't worry about it, because, like, there will be a day when we will unlock it, so it's fine. It's fine. Okay, I need to turn this down a little bit so loud. Also, nobody's live, so no Ray today, Sag. It's only 2.30, is it really only 2.30? Use points? You'll get your points- No, you can't a rig, you cannot admit to rigging a prediction. Isn't that channel point fraud? I think that could be a bannable offense if you try to commit channel point fraud. <laughs> Cult of the Lamb is your addiction? You should buy the game. You should buy the game. You only have 338 channel points? That's fine. Uh, the more you watch a stream, then you get more channel points. Also, if you watch more streams in succession, then you get bonus points, so... <laughs> Accidental all-in. <laughs> it's just a little accident. I mean, I've done that almost, like... I meant to type in, like, 10,000, but I almost typed in 100k. I was like, oh, whoa, dude. That could have been really bad. Okay. Chat. Let's go ahead and call it a stream here. So I would like to thank everybody who chatted, who liked. Once again, thank you, Mac, for gifting a sub to the chat. Thank you. Oh, to read what we did today. We did confirm which chatter made the best clips for the month of October. Best of compilation will be up on Twitter, TikTok, YouTube tomorrow. So... Kobobo is October's best clipper. So, claps and chat for Kobobo. They didn't come and chat today, and that's fine. We'll just have to say thank you to them whenever we see them again. But, if you are confused, any chatter... Anybody can make clips of the stream, okay? But if you clip good moments, if you tie your clip really good, then you might earn VIP at the beginning of December. So, it makes the best clips during November will get VIP for a month. Let's fucking go. Because honestly, chatters, chatters, honestly. Um, if anybody clips the stream, it helps so much with new viewers because the first thing people will look at is your channel trailer and also the popular clips of the day or the week. So if you guys clip stuff, make sure you're clipping funny moments, tie to their clips. That way, hopefully, we get some new chatters in here, new lurkers too. So it's a big help. So thank you, everybody, who does clip. I appreciate you guys... Um, what you call it. Going that extra step if you are able to. Getting VIP the honest way using channel points? Honestly, you're scamming yourself, Mac. <laughs> or I got you hooked. It could be either. Um, once again, let's shout out the art channel one more time. It's peacein underscore art. If you like just chatting, if you like watching art streams, go follow. It's hashtag free to follow. Chatters, we are literally... 11 followers away from affiliate. That's literally the only thing we need in order to get sub emotes on that channel. So, if you want to see something like this, or this be painted, look at that chrome effect. Isn't that insane? Look at that. Any others want to buy it? Anyway. So go follow that channel. It's hashtag free to follow. I think tomorrow we'll be making or we'll be starting these two paintings because what we learned last week is if you want to put glitter varnish on top you have to let the paint fully dry so we're gonna start these two paintings tomorrow and then next week we'll do the detailing so if you want to see some cool art follow that channel rainbow one will go crazy yeah that's gonna take a long ass time to get the color swatching and stuff too have you thought about what emotes um they'll be screenshot They'll be similar to the main channel emotes, but they'll be kind of more related to art stuff, I guess. Um, yeah. So, once again, thank you everybody who chatted, who watched. I appreciate you all for hanging out today. <laughs> Why did your message get asterisked? What did you say? <laughs> Sorry, I'm like... 
Uh, usually Automat will delete asterisks, but... So chatters, next stream on this channel will be Saturday, because we did have Daisy leave. So we'll do a long Aurora hunting Animal Crossing stream on Saturday. But if you want to see me doing art, I will be live on peace and underscore art tomorrow, probably at 10 or 11 a.m. PST. So another full week of content. Once again, thank everybody who watched the stream this week. It was a pleasure hanging out with everybody. It was after like Halloween stuff, it was fun too. So. Oh, you're saying it looked like Dr. Seuss? Why was that? Oh, you, do you just not want to say the name? Okay, I can respect that. Um, look from Dr. Seuss? I guess kinda. The rainbow, maybe. The effect is cool. Really, she left? Yeah, Daisy left. So, we have another chance of finding the love of my life, guys. Okay, I'll see you all tomorrow on the art channel, and then on this channel with Animal Crossing on Saturday. If everybody enjoys the rest of your week, have a good Friday, guys, if I won't see you tomorrow. I'll see you all on Saturday. Bye! Dude, our stream is gonna go crazy tomorrow because we're gonna prep two paintings, meaning I'm gonna do all the color except for the black. So that is gonna be a long ass stream tomorrow. But like, I haven't painted in two weeks, and I'm like, I'm like itching to paint. I was gonna paint like offline. Mac, fuck you. <laughs> I can't. Thank you, Mac, for that gifted sub. I appreciate you. Wait, hold, hold. Thank you for gifting the tab ski. I appreciate you. Hmm. Okay. Well. Funny, haha. -ha. Well, Mac, you just unlocked. You got five gifted for the month. So that means you are eligible for a sketch card for November. I appreciate you, Mac. Wow. Yeah. Thank you, Mac. Okay. I'm not mad. I'm actually happy. But okay. So if we do Cult of the Lamb, when should I start? When should we start? Because, like, I need to go eat lunch. So maybe in, like, an hour and a half or two hours? I got scared I pissed you off. No, dude, imagine I just started screaming. <laughs> dude, no. Why? Okay. Genuinely, genuinely. Why would somebody want to scare, like, one of their top donators? Like, I, I think that's psychotic. Unless, like, the donator was crazy. But, okay. So, if we don't go to the lamb, I have to go eat lunch. Or, I guess, an early dinner. So, maybe live in two hours? My heart started racing. Yeah, I just baited you pretty good, huh? Haha. <laughs> Haha. Imagine a sub right at the moment before Max subbed. <laughs> Lomel. Lomel. That'd be crazy. Okay, chatters, if you want to be pinged, want to go live for the cold to the lamb, it will be sub only. So if you're a non-sub, you won't be able to watch. Sag. So if you want to watch that sub-only stream, subscribe. Easy clap. Um, follow my Twitter. Follow my Twitter. That way you get notified when I go live. Because usually the way that Twitch notifications work is if you don't go live at a normal time, then the notification doesn't get pushed out to as many people. So that's why usually for evening streams, they either do well or they do ass. So follow my Twitter. That way you get pinged for when I go live. For abnormal times. Okay. For real, for real. Okay, I guess I will see some of you guys later tonight. Once again, thank you, Mac, for gifting. I'll write, I'll fix the journal for you. Be here later? E. I know you will. Fucking simp. Okay, bye! <laughs> Imagine the sub didn't go through in time. Damn, that would have been worse, my guy. Mac would actually be in shambles. I was scared. I mean, were you gifting on desktop or mobile? Honestly, Oilers, Oilers. Gift on desktop because when you gift on mobile it charges you more controversial but that's how it is okay anyway thank you once again for mac for helping hit our daily sub goal once again thank you mac for gifting a total of two today thank you mac i will be live later today after a lunch for a cult of the land so if you want to be notified follow my twitter and oh excuse me um Watch it for a chill evening stream. Okay, bye-bye.